I'm back. I'm back and I'm better. I'm back, streets back. All right. is the first Monday that I am not at my dietetic internship because I'm done! All right, so welcome to my supplement cabinet. First you need freeze-dried strawberries and then you're gonna get some acai powder. I also use green coffee bean powder. These were all ingredients that I found online. And you're gonna blend all of that up in the blender and pour it over ice. It tastes pretty good. It's not exactly like Starbucks, but it's a lot cheaper. So I'm gonna keep playing around with it. This is the best that this has ever turned out. I think the blender might be the trick. I haven't been able to get all the powders blended up properly. So this is awesome. Apply. Say hey, Minnie. I'm pretty dense. Look, this is our crazy deals. The one you oh my know gosh, she's so cute. Off cool stuff. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Morning, guys. So I'm vlogging again. I have the baby for a little bit, um, and then I'm going to take him to get babysat just so I can like go to Homa, drop something off at CVS, not CVS, <laughs> drop something off at UPS that needs to be returned. And I'm gonna go take a yoga class. Oh, okay. Okay, this isn't good to eat, okay? Let's not eat that. Anyways, so yeah, I decided I'm gonna vlog again. I might just make this a, like a whole week vlog. Um, and I know that a lot of y'all come, to, are probably coming back to my channel um, because you want like other information from me. Maybe not like to see my life, but I like to vlog. And I wish that I would have started vlogging earlier when my life was in a different routine. I don't wanna say less busy, but just in a different routine where I have more time to vlog and to edit and stuff. I have my iced coffee. I tried a new um, coffee. It's really good. I usually buy this Nola Brew um, cold brew coffee, but I saw this. I've been seeing this for a while. And you like squeeze it. I can't do that great with one hand. I'm not that, my hand grip strength is not all that to the dietitians out there. Anyways, you squeeze it and you fill it up and then you add that to seven ounces of milk. So I used this um, organic soy milk and then for six ounces of that and then I did three tablespoons of silk creamer. Ooh, I love this. I love the vanilla. I love the caramel. Also good. But I usually use almond milk. What, baby? Mimi's calling me. Oh, another piece. I'm going to pick it up. My mom's calling me, I'm gonna call her back. Um, I usually use this and I have, I buy this from Sam's. I have like two more in my outside refrigerator in our shed, but um, I'm getting my son off of soy milk right now because he kept having like some stomach issues on it. So um, yeah, give me that piece, yuck. Um, so, come my laundry in the back. Did you poop? Hey. Oh, you need to diaper change, you poo pooed. What? Yeah, you see it? Yeah, um, yeah. I'm getting him off of soy milk because he just would poop immediately. Um, so we're actually doing dairy milk. We're doing Fair Life milk, and he's doing well. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I couldn't find any oat milk for some reason around here <clears throat> at like our Rouse's or Walmart. But I need to check the the second Rouse's by Nichols and see if I can find it. Hey. All right, 
going to my first class at Roots to Rise. I'm really, really excited. I've never been. And then I'm going to stop at Anella's and get my husband a juice, look for Silas, a diffuser necklace, because he's been getting headaches. So I gave him my Hedy's oil that I used to use a lot when I was getting a lot of headaches. Um, I'm just trying to really enjoy this week that I'm not um, jumping into hardcore studying yet. My mom's calling me again. I'm sorry. I'm going to call you right back. Uh, I'm just trying to enjoy this week and I want to vlog it. So yeah, I'm going to talk to my mom and I'm going to talk to you guys later. <laughs> That's not very safe. He always stands on it. He rocks it and he jumps like he dives off of it. Like he makes himself fall off, off of it. Like on purpose. What about that big old drool we just saw? <gasps> oh, did that one hurt? Okay, how about we stop? Okay, let's take it further away from your crib too. It's a little bit better. Whoa, dude, you're so awesome. Yeah, do that yoga boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. That's maybe enough. That's maybe enough. That's maybe enough. Oh my gosh, so last time I did a video, he was literally nursing. So he's a lot bigger now. He was under a year. Now he's about um 15 months just like a year and three months right for the people who hate when you say 15 months i promise i will stop by the time he's like two i'll stop saying how many months he is. okay oh that one was bad okay okay there we go we learned our lesson can you stop kicking me look at what his shirt says he's definitely that He's definitely wild. When I tell you as soon as I sat down on the toilet, he fell in the tub and poured water on himself. And here we are. So yeah. Look at your muscles. Ooh, nice muscles, dude. Just want to show y'all my OOTD. Just simple outfit for this yoga class. RDN lunch bag um, with some ice in it. If you can see that ice and ice pack. And I bought this wild tonic kombucha. I'm gonna try it and let you know how it is. I got the blueberry basil. And then I got my husband a tropical punch. Just cold press and delicious. Um, I was looking for my son a diffuser necklace. So I am post yoga class. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so it's been a long time since I've taken a yoga class. And it's funny because it's been an even longer time since I've taken a in per well, I've been taking online yoga classes. So let me let me preface with that. And I need gas. I've been taking online yoga classes 
and um, it's been a long time since I've taken an in-person yoga class, even like before COVID, it had been a little while. So that was awesome to be in a studio with other people and other bodies and um, other breaths and just all of that. All of that was great. Um, and Roots Rise has a really awesome system when it comes to heating up their room. So that was great. Like literally, I walked in and I felt the heat and I was like, whew, yes, like I am home. It's that feeling of just like, once you've been a heated yoga goer, like, and you enjoy it, it's something that you just, I mean, you just love. Like, it's just such an easy thing to like fall in love with if you really lean into the heat and you take it for everything that it is. So it was great. It was absolutely great. Um, it's funny because the instructor was Chantel, who I've known since I started yoga. Like, Chantel, literally, I went to my first class at Anella's with Chantel, like my first ever yoga class. So it's pretty crazy to come full circle um, and to be going to her place and taking a yoga class with her for the first time since then. It was great, it was a great class. And I followed it up with a smoothie bowl, um, which I'll show y'all a little clip of the smoothie bowl that I had. So I think I'm gonna go home and fold some laundry. I originally thought about working out this morning and then going to do that yoga class. And if I had, I, that didn't happen. If I had time, I was gonna do the yoga class and then go home and do another workout. But honestly, like, I feel so good. There's no need for me to do anything else or lift weights or whatever. I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow because a lot of the things that I did today are things that I haven't done in a long time especially not under direction of somebody and I haven't done Baptiste yoga in a long time either so just that flow and that repetition and that quick movement um all of those things are just things that I haven't experienced in a while so I know I'm gonna be sore I feel great I feel energized but tired um I sweat a lot like midway through she came and dropped a towel <clears throat> next to me and I'm like thank you so much you are sent from heaven because I'm dri like dripping drenching sweat on my arms and everything good morning today is Wednesday and didn't get the best start to my day so I got my husband to wake me up before he left for work which was around like 4 45 I went back to sleep woke up around 5 20 and stayed on my phone until it's now like 6 30 so that was a big waste of time uh, i wanted to wake up early to do my workout early i did not so i'm gonna have to find another time in my day to do that i need to work out i need to sweep my house early I need to clean my bathrooms and I need to finish folding clothes. I'm keeping the baby home with me today just because I only really had stuff at home that needed to be done. And um, I'll probably like find some time to work out during his nap. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm gonna finish getting ready before we have to leave for my son to go to school. I'm holding my deodorant. I use the Arm & Hammer Essentials. Um, I believe this is aluminum free, aluminum, paraben, and phosphate free. I like the way the juniper berry smells or just the clean one, I think. I like it, I've been using it for years um, and it works for me. That's all that's going on. My shoulder really hurts from yoga yesterday, so I'll check back in with you later. Okay, so I opened my freezer and there's this, 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 these, and this. None of that goes in the freezer. 
Do you know that? That doesn't go in the freezer? Oh my god. Never a dull moment. But your smoothie. What does that mean? It's good? Thumbs up? His smoothie is half a banana. Oh, half a banana, four frozen strawberries. Um, two tablespoons of this silk dairy-free yogurt, which I'm pretty sure is soy-based. Yes. Um, and maybe a half a cup of almond milk. So, yeah. I'm trying to stay away from the soy milk. Mom's finishing off the soy milk in her um, coffee that I showed y'all on Monday. So, that's what we're going to do there. And we also have a waffle. Mmm-mmm. But we're gonna put you in uh, your high chair for your waffles, so bear can <coughs> eat it, okay? E. E. Yeah. All right. Let's put you in your high chair. Yummy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he's starting to like actually respond to the things that I ask him. It's very satisfying. Progress. Go, Cam. Dance. Hey, so I'm finally done folding all these clothes. This is the last bit of them. Feeling very accomplished with that. Um, and if you don't feel accomplished after you fold clothes, then we can't relate. And then we got this one home from school with his pounding headache. A. Eh? Am I Canadian? <laughs> yeah, so Silas has been having headaches and uh, he's home from school and he can't go back until Friday because of COVID restrictions. So that really sucks. So. <laughs> Cowboy Woo Cow. which for some reason looks bigger on camera to me. Good morning guys, it's Thursday. So I was trying to like do my hair and start the vlog for today there, but this is more real and honest. And I wanted to chat with y'all about something while I um, like detangled my hair with the conditioner. I hit a new weight this morning, a new low weight for me um, as far as what I've been in the last few months. This morning I got on the scale and I was 165.9. Um, and this lower weight is good because it's reflecting the way that I'm feeling um, on the inside and it's reflecting on the outside. So already my mind frame about like how I look has already started to change. I've been working out um, at least like four times a week for about a month. Anyways. I don't have any like big plans for today. 
I'm gonna do something right now that's like the realest that it gets. I will say my only negative about leaving my sriracha mayo in here, trying to like recycle it, is the fact that the stream is really, really thick and I wanted it to be a little thinner. So I might put it in that other container that I have, even though I thought that that was gonna be a great idea because it's so thick. Yeah, either way, I'm gonna eat it. Oh my God, look what he's doing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you funny. Mango? Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey guys, so I never properly, um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I'm seeing my family like fried on the beach. They're so cute. We are in Grand Isle. If you're not from Louisiana, which I'm pretty sure most of y'all are, um, because most of the people who follow me or people that I know, I think, um, if you're not familiar with Grand Isle, Grand Isle is in Louisiana. It's all the way south of us. I don't know, like, what it is, southeast, southwest, whatever, but it's about an hour and a half, I think, away from where we live in Thibodeau. And um, it's a small town, like a beach town. Um, and I've been coming here since I was little to like fish and stuff. 
Um, I'm not a big fisherman these days. I just like to go on my husband's boat just to like be there and enjoy the breeze and the sun. Our plans are to just go to the beach and enjoy the beach like all day as much as we possibly can. Um, do some riding on the beach in the four wheeler. I mean, in the golf cart and we're boiling crawfish later. So we were reserved a sack of crawfish that we're boiling later, which is always delicious. And it's gonna be even more delicious with the sea breeze. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy that. And then tomorrow we're leaving. Is it cold? <laughs> Watch him because he's so short. If you scare, come see, baby. You don't have to go so far if you scare. Thank you guys so much for watching this week in my life. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and comment below if you want me to make more like this and subscribe so you're notified every time I make new videos. Bye.